I have never been this pissed in my entire goddamn life. Coach Ali, why are you goddamn pissed? You're a Manchester United fan, you're not even a Chelsea fan. Brother, we could have faced Chelsea in the FA Cup final. That's if we beat Coventry tonight. I'm recording this before the Coventry game, so don't come for my neck. But goddamn it, now we most likely have to face Manchester City in the FA Cup final, man. Let's just get straight into this goddamn game. Was it rigged or was it just Chelsea being so goddamn bad? Let's talk about the injustice that happened last night. Anyone with a goddamn eyesight, even a blind person, can sense that that was clearly a goddamn handball. Jack. Green, <laughs> whatever Manchester City <laughs> That's very correct, but Jack Green is right here, ladies and gentlemen. Opened up his body, making his body literally bigger as it is, more than it is, to literally stop the ball from going inside. The ball was going at target as well. Keep that in consideration. Making his body bigger than it is, opening up his arms that much and the ball literally touching his goddamn hands and you don't call that for a goddamn penalty. Let's take a look at it at this goddamn angle, right? Look at that oh my if i'm the manager if i'm pochettino at this goddamn scenario the ball was going on target did you see how how it deflected how it changed the way of the ball did you guys see that shout out to the manager of chelsea fc man if i was the manager if i was pochettino in this goddamn scenario i would have lost my goddamn mind because when the referee went to the var he went and checked if it was a possible penalty. He checked three different referees in the back, by the way, checking with him if that's a penalty or not, if that's a handball or not. And they all concluded that it's not a goddamn handball and that is not a penalty. So that was the injustice part that I spoke about and that was the rigged part that I was talking about. But now, but the topic now is... Did Chelsea FC really deserve to win this goddamn game? Unbelievable what happened. Their striker Nicholas Jackson is probably the worst strikers. You're a number nine, you're a striker, you were born into football, you were trained in football in your in your entire goddamn life, and you cannot finish that one chance is genuinely just goddamn embarrassing. Same thing when I said in the previous video about Bernardo Silva not scoring that goddamn penalty. But in Bernardo Silva's case, it was probably him just wanting to be smart and going in the middle, shooting in the middle in that penalty against Real Madrid. But Nicholas Jackson, I don't think he has the IQ for that. And I don't think he has a footballing ability for that. <laughs> After he misses that, the clip doesn't end, ladies and gentlemen. Palmer takes the ball, he crosses and look at this. Seeing Nicholas Jackson's performance and clips like these in general, man, just makes me appreciate Cristiano Ronaldo even more and i know i know i know everything is not about ronaldo cristiano ronaldo for years for decades dominated everyone using his left foot right foot and even header making these type of goals really just easy <laughs> making it look easy to everyone and everyone literally hated him for that because ronaldo scores only tappins ronaldo only scores easy goals with his headers with his left foot but when you see players nowadays not able to score for their goddamn life, scoring is not always easy. And scoring in consecutive seasons back to back is not always easy as well as we are seeing with Erling Haaland. Wingers nowadays and striker nowadays will never touch what Ronaldo did on that goddamn pitch back in his days. And you would think that that was Nicholas Jackson's most embarrassing moment in this match, then you're goddamn mistaken. Take a look at this. One-on-one -on -one against the keeper, right? 
he he goes around the keeper that was a smart move actually but if there's any chelsea fans in the comment section how are you even alive <laughs> nicholas jackson you go around the keeper you beat the keeper i mean at least shoot if you weren't confident enough to go around the keeper and shoot then just shoot first time give it a finesse and shoot first time you're one on one against the keeper the goal is literally seven goddamn meters for the love of god how how are these players given professional contracts man at this point and you know what even pisses me off even more is that nicholas jackson the same brother last week was fighting cole palmer to take the goddamn penalty off of him after tonight my friend you are in no position to ever touch a penalty spot you're not in a position to even make yourself big enough or even fight over a goddamn penalty speaking of fighting over a penalty another thing that pissed me off so the two players that were fighting over the penalty last week was Mudieke and Nicholas Jackson Nicholas Jackson obviously being the striker <laughs> you know we talked about right now but Mudieke after the game Thiago Silva at 39 years old look and the... did you guys see that or should i show you again this is tiago silva this right here is mudiek right here look at him look at him he was in the back after a defeat in the semi-finals he was in the back laughing with jack grealish after a goddamn defeat while you have Thiago Silva literally in tears because this is probably the last European final or cup that he will ever touch in his goddamn career after this he's leaving Chelsea at the age of 39 but Moodyik you're back there laughing with Jack Grealish the opposition team's player after a defeat is just goddamn embarrassing first of all if you're a Chelsea fan you would generally hate this and second of all going back to the point this was the same brother that was fighting the best player in their team Cole Palmer to take the penalty off of him the same player is out here laughing after a semi-final defeat with the opposition's player Tupac Shakur <laughs> right now if Nicholas Jackson was the shooter <laughs> ah, exactly Goddamn exactly! <laughs> Tupac would have literally been alive if goddamn Nicholas Jackson was the one shooting him. <laughs> and hell, even 50 Cent, you know, where he has this story that he got shot nine times and... <laughs> I don't think 50 Cent would have even been popular! <laughs> because if Nicholas Jackson was shooting 50 Cent, 50 Cent wouldn't have had that story or the nickname. <laughs> Nicholas Jackson full highlights. Ah. <laughs> uh... And I swear to God, if DJ Khaled, <laughs> if DJ Khaled was in that goddamn striker position, he would have probably scored the three chances that Nicholas Jackson didn't. And They're the just worst. phenomenal to watch. And look, people try and make comparisons of who's better, etc. Just enjoy it, man. We're like <laughs> very different from. Yeah, Chelsea fans obviously being. Uh, if I was a Chelsea fan, man, I would have goddamn crumbled. I would have probably stopped supporting the club. Man. Showing the Nicholas Jackson's obviously misses over misses over misses. Where is this going? Man, going from that to this, going from DDA Drogba, man, arguably one of the best strikers in the Premier League history. In football history, carrying Chelsea for years on his back. And then you go from that to goddamn Nicholas Jackson. And I don't want to be sitting here being very negative about Nicholas Jackson now. He might have a comeback. I hope this was his waking point. I hope this was the moment where he realized that maybe he should just improve himself. This should be the moment that Nicholas Jackson goddamn wakes up. And I don't like hating on players because you never know. I'm not very known, that known, 
but the player might see one of the clips here and there and it might affect him negatively in his mind and I don't like that, I don't want to be that person but I like to call out people and the only way a human can improve is genuinely if he's being called out in my opinion Nicholas Jackson when he's 1v1 for Chelsea what is this? okay, that's nice Oh, I, I, even this guy would have probably finished the chances <laughs> Chelsea fans sending Jackson back to uh Okay, we did not say th This did not allow us to be goddamn Listen, we can, we can be critical on players So they can see it and improve their game, right? But this doesn't allow you guys To just be goddamn racist Chelsea first half highlights versus Manchester City What's this? <laughs> Is it that goddamn game? Why is the quality so goddamn bad? <laughs> that game, yeah. They just played around in the goddamn penalty box. Or around the penalty box. Look at this. Thrown goal. Do they shoot? Nope. They don't goddamn shoot. Okay, the tweet is a bit broken here, but Mudieke after a loss, he's him obviously smiling, happy, and Mudieke when he doesn't get a penalty. <laughs> If you ever think you're unlucky in life, just know that the lion is literally trapped inside that Chelsea logo forever. <laughs> and he has to see Chelsea week in and week out. And just like the lion, ladies and gentlemen, I have had enough of this episode. Again, as a Manchester United fan, we would have had Chelsea in the, cha in the FA Cup final. <laughs> but unfortunately, we'll be facing Manchester City, most likely, if we win against Coventry. And what do you guys think, man? Was it rigged or was it just Chelsea being bad? Let me know in the comment section. What did you think about last night's game? And what do you think of everything I said in this video? Thank you guys for watching and I'll be seeing you in the El Clasico video and the United versus Coventry, whatever happens. Obviously, I win. Come on, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Like the video, subscribe, and gracias, amigos.